illegal mining has become one of the biggest conversations in the country as at now because we can all attest to what is doing to our water bodies and our natural resources hello there and welcome to use your voice and right here on the show we give you the opportunity to share your views your opinions about issues that are affecting the nation as a whole and so when the microphone comes to you you definitely have to take it and tell us your thoughts about it today there's going to be a little bit twist to it we want you to pledge your allegiance to the fight against galamse and to restore our water bodies back what do you think is the solution to this problem that has become a menace and is affecting everybody especially the youth in the near future we may have to import water that was said by ghana water company what are your thoughts about this whole issue and what can we do about it the president is the leader of the country okay and then what i know is he is the commander-in-chief of the army too so if a president is a commander-in-chief of the army then he can stand in for the citizens he can stand in and say no stop galancy because then our water bodies are polluted the forests are damaged the forest is a source of income like concern is like a tourist site people come from different countries as well so if he is able to stand on his feet and say no, stop Galamse. I think everything will be okay. And then the MP said, in, if we fight as a community, we'll be able to stop Galamse. I think that is also true, because then we have then we have to work as a team. Yes, before the president also comes in. So as a as as an institution, as a community like yourself, an individual, a citizen, what can you do to ensure that Galamse does not? erupt into something deadly like it has been already. What what do you what are you doing to contribute to the solution? Hmm. I think the protests as as an individual, as the protest is going on, I would like to join. Yes. Because as we are talking, our voices are being heard. Whether they are taking it into consideration or not, we are still talking. And then we um we would have to like educate some people because in this century people are still ignorant so if we are able to educate them then we'll be able to stop galancy prince you are in ghana and you know the current situation right now water bodies being destroyed uh, forest reserves damaged whatnot what do you think is a possible solution as at now that we can do to salvage the situation okay so i think we all have like stake in this fight against galancy we have uh, the president must do his own chiefs, then the people involved in these Galamse activities. But I'll begin by saying that the president, uh, the president put uh, his presidency on the line in 2017, but they, they employed a lot of mechanisms, methods to fight this Galamse, but we don't see it solved. So I suggest that this, the youth of the country will come together to fight this canker, fighting it in the sense that... Uh, those that are involved in this galamse, they will, the government will get other alternatives for them. It's because of un unemployment, that's why galamse is ongoing as we speak. So the government can make other alternatives for these people. Then we educate them on the effects of this galamse on us. So I think there should be education on galamse, more of education and employment in the country so that we can alleviate the, the hurdles of galamse. Okay, so you think that is the unemployment issues that is causing this whole galamse? Yes, please. It's okay. unemployment. I can sense from what you're saying that you're a bit concerned about the situation, even though you alluded to the fact that it is unemployment that is causing this or having a ripple effect of, of what we are seeing today. Now, tell me, why are you concerned as a youth about the situation? Because this galamse activity has health implications on us. And even if you go to the mining communities, the communities that Galamse are ongoing, a lot of students have dropped out of school because when they go to this mining site, they get a lot, a lot of money. So it's, it has health implications and it's also uh, uh, taking uh, students out of school. So I think the government should look into the, the reasons why the, those ministry, interministerial committee was set up because if you set up a, an interministerial committee to fight galamse, whilst the people you don't educate the people on the effect of that galamse, it's not going to work. Those that we are fighting are even stronger and they are backed by these same politicians. So if you fight galamse, yes, or you fight galamse without educating them on what to do, you are doing nothing. Okay, so in your in your bid to contribute to the solution. 
um, to alleviate the situation or the problem? What what can you do? What are you doing about it? There should be a nation banned on uh, Galamse activities. The government should declare a state of emergency on Galamse activities, both legal and illegal, so that we can resort to maybe dialogues and education for them to maybe uh, uh, the Ministry of uh, Lands and Natural Resources grant back their alliances, those who can operate, where they can operate, so that at least we can reclaim the land destroyed and the water bodies destroyed. Okay, so this is like the nation or to the leadership. I am talking about your personal um, pledge, what you are going to do in your, in your community, in your circles, what are you also going to do about it? <laughs> Personally, I can't do much about it, but I've seen a lot of uh, a town like Konongo, for instance, I know some of the guys doing Galamsi because I've, I've, I've been there with them before. And they will tell you these are the reasons why. They know the implications of it, but financial issues, so they have to go into it. And they get money like in it more than whatever they do. So I think there should be a lot of education, mm -hmm. even though you get money, but these are the implications. So that's what you are going to do? Yeah. Okay, so you are going to educate? Yeah. All right. I think the government has to do something urgent like right now because it's affecting everybody, like everybody in the country. And then my biggest fear is that since everyone is trying to come together to fight this, so the teachers also try to come inside because, though I think they will do that because we are all humans and it's affecting all of us. But what, what do you think? What do you think they should do? So I think the government has to do something like, okay. yes, any, any measures to that he can put in place to fight this because I think they are not doing anything urgently. Like since now everybody is trying to come together, so he should do something. That's to tell him that it's affecting everybody. Tell who? The government. Because right now people you can't get up to go to the site and be like they should get up. They'll be like they have licenses because yes, so most of them even have licenses and they'll be like they have and then they have the right to do that. So the government has to do something quickly so that this thing because it's affecting everybody okay so you hold your thoughts let me go to Obinewa. Obinewa, the same question to you what do you think i mean you seated in the program and listening to all that has happened what do you think is a solution to tackle this issue i think the first thing we can do or as a country everybody must do is actually halting the giving out of licenses because people take the licenses with I'm going to do it in the proper way. But later on, having the license in hand, they tend to do it the wrong way, which is causing more harm. So if the license is halted a bit, I think that one will help reduce the increment. And after they halt the license being given out, I think that one, um, they can also move ahead and put a band on Galamise so that the water bodies can also recycle itself and cleanse itself a bit. I okay. think that one will also help reduce their health issues and everything that's going on here. All right, I, I like that. So now, what do you think as, as a citizen, a concerned citizen, what do you think you can do in your own way to also contribute to the solution to the problem? I think as a citizen, Knowing a bit about Galamite and how it's affecting us, I can also introduce or educate my fellow friends or my community members about it so that they will also know the actual thing Galamite is doing on us as individuals and the impact it's having on us and they will get to know that it's negative. So we all have to put our effort inside and try stopping it. Okay, so you're telling Ghanaians, this is the camera, you're telling us that this is what you are going to do. Okay. All right, this is what I'm that. going. Yeah, this I, like I really so do it. Pledge. So yeah, you pledge. yeah, I pledge. Pledge. I pledge. Nice okay, let me let me come to Hamza. What what do you think you can also do as as a citizen, a concerned one, of course, to tackle the issue? Okay, so as a concerned citizen, and I know that maybe I'm just low, and my voice can't be heard that loud. Mm -hmm. So maybe starting it a bit for maybe my WhatsApp status, so that they will also at least forward it to other people and then my the various groups I am on and then things so that they will know the effect of it on our health, agriculture, everything because we are dying slowly, we don't even know. Yeah, so from that maybe maybe post it on Facebook and things, TikTok because now everybody's using TikTok. Mm. So from that you get access to many people and then they will get to know the effects so that we all come together to fight.
So you also pledge? Are yes, I pledge. We need to educate the youth on the issue at hand now and then help to spread awareness. Because if they are aware of how our water bodies are being contaminated and how it's dangerous for us to drink the water, it will help them to appreciate the issue and solve the problem. Okay, let me do just a quick follow-up. As a youthful person as you are, Anna, why do you think it's a very concerning and dire situation for you? Okay, because our water bodies are being contaminated now, it's very dangerous to drink it. Mm -hmm. And then there are heavy metals in the water, which makes it dangerous for intake. So I think this issue is a very serious issue and needs to be handled needs seriously. Be handled seriously. Okay. Let, me, let me come to Fafali, same question to you. Okay, so I think we should educate our youth and then ourselves about this galam, say how it affects health, our community, and then everywhere in the society. And then the, we urge the government to create job opportunities for the youth because it's because of money. They don't have way to do in the country. So it's because of that. That's why they've gone into mining and stuff. So we urge the government to create more job opportunities. Okay, so I asked one question, um, I asked um, Nanama, right, Nanama a question that why do you think you are very much concerned about this situation as a youth? So I want you to also give me something different from me. Yes, it damages our water bodies and then our land. So you could see that there is no land for farmers to even farm for the food that we eat. They damage all the land, so there is nothing going on like to allude it to agriculture here yeah. so it is affecting farmers and then everybody in there okay so, so Fafali in, in a matter of five seconds we want you to pledge to Ghanaians what you can also do in, in your own small way to 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 be part of the solution okay so I pledge that I will support Kana and then to fight against Galancy. how are you going to do that by educating our youth and then everybody let me come to Nanama. Okay. What, what are you also pledging? Okay, I also pledge to help educate my friends and family about the issue at hand and then how to solve it. Okay, so Gifty, give me give me your solutions. What do you think we can do as a country as at now to salvage the whole situation of Galamse, our water bodies being destroyed, our forest reserves being damaged? What are your thoughts on it? Okay, I think at this time the government and his officials need to sit down, set rules and regulations and find possible solutions that can help to quit all this because the forestry is being destroyed and the water bodies is being destroyed, which is very, very dangerous to our health. Mm. Okay, but and I, I can sense some passion in what you're saying yeah. right now. You are very much concerned. Yes, yes, I'm very much concerned. So as a youth, why, why, why are you that concerned about it? I'm, I'm very much concerned because I'm, a, I'm youth and I'm not grown. I'm not all that grown. In next 20 years, next 40 years, we are the future leaders now. We are going to be the leaders at then. So we and our children and our grandchildren are the ones going to face the consequences of what is happening now. So I'm just pleading with the government that he should set his... Um, his hand down and then know what is going on mm -hmm. and then start working on it as yes well. please yes please all right okay so first of all i appreciate the fact that this program has been held and then it's going to enable the leaders to hear some voices of we the youth so um i would like to say we should hold the leaders accountable for them to imply pos um, effective policies of galamsey which will help the, which, will, which will help the youth to stop mining and also if there are more jobs because it's due to lack of jobs or due to unemployment that Galamse is ongoing, illegal mining. So if the government is able to provide adequate jobs or there are more employment for the youth, I think this Galamse would stop. So as an individual, I just want to, I just want us to challenge ourselves as a youth somebody who knows that you are going to be a future leader or a leader in the near future and seeing all the natural resources we have being damaged what is your quota what are you going to do to make sure that you contribute to the solutions to stop galant say and then the others okay so i think um education we educating um should i say illiterate no i don't want to use illiterate because some people are not literate but they know much more about Galamsey. But then if there are more um, education on 
how Galamse um, if affects our lives, I think everything would go on smoothly because we don't know the kind of um, um, chemicals or impurities that are in the water we drink. Even though the water I'm holding now is purified, but there are still some particles that wouldn't help my health. So I think education too would help um, stop galamsey or illegal mining. So you are going in for education, so using your social media platform to educate people? To educate young people or in everyone. So I would use education. What do you think is the solution to the whole issue of galamsey in the country as at now? So I think banning both legal and illegal mining should it should be banned because the legal ones, those having the papers to mine, are destroying water bodies because some people are allowed to mine at certain places, but they don't go to that place, but they go to a different place to mine and then destroy the water bodies over there. So I think for now they should ban all mining companies. That's what you think yes. is the solution. Yes. But you heard that, um, especially the Minister for Land and Natural Resources mentioned earlier that it would pose a lot of economic crisis to the country because we all know how much um, mining is, is, um, is contributing to our GDP in the country. So don't you think it will affect the country that much if we, we are to ban, ban all legal and illegal mining in the country? I think banning it should be for a period of time to care the to to fix the water bodies before they go back into mining. So now I, I don't know. You seem concerned about about the issue. I just want to ask a very simple question. As a youth, why are you concerned about it? Okay, so buying um, disinfectants for the water is very expensive. So I think banning the mining for some time and curing the water or treating the water is way better, way better. yes okay, so now as a, as a youth we just want to pick from your personal resolution or what do you think you are going to do to contribute to the solution i think educating others on the effects of the mining would be what i can do so you are going to educate through your platforms yes yes Illegal mining is one of the biggest conversations happening in the country now. And during Media General's thought leadership program, we found out from some Gen Z's or youth, if you like it, their thoughts and the solutions that we can implore to tackle the issue of Galamse and illegal mining in the country. Today, they added their pledge to it. Each and every one of them pledged their allegiance to how they can also solve or contribute to the solutions.